got a very exciting pen today because it's very curious and very new. This is the Shone Design Altum pen. It is made of the material called Altum, hence Altum, and it's really unusual. It, it's just really cool. So I actually borrowed this from a friend because the first batch was quite limited and I didn't get one. There's a waiting list. I'm on the waiting list. You should get on the waiting list. It's, it's so, it's like right up my alley because it's not super big. I like the shape. I like that it's clear. It has O-rings for eyedroppering. And I love Shown Design, really sweet person. Just everything fits for me. So I am very excited about this. Very, very, very excited. <laughs> and uh, I just wanna share it with you. So I look forward to carrying this with me for a while and using it. But right now it's not eyedropper, but I cannot wait to eyedropper this. That's gonna be my next step. So I have to drain this and eyedropper it almost immediately. Okay, let's go look at it because this is an interesting, it's this part that's interesting. Okay. Okay. I really like the Shown Design packaging. If you have seen my video of the Pocket 6 pens, which I will link to, and if I forget to link to it, you can just check it on my YouTube channel. I I like packaging. You get the, uh, you get the cute little business card, a nice little size, and you get a sticker, which I love stickers fantastic and then you get your pen and you also get a little pocket-sized notebook I got a different ruling this time interesting you know you can always use a pocket-sized notebook you can always use paper so that's useful and then the pen comes in this very small little I left it open so it'd be easy for me to <laughs> open it on camera a very small little uh, plastic box very small, which I really like. And it does have this foam cutout, but underneath it is the shown design other business card type thing. And it's a sticker. Yay. And I also reuse these boxes for all sorts of things. They're super handy. So I like the packaging and that's great. But of course, we're not here for the packaging. We're here for the Altum pen. Now, you are probably familiar with the Pocket 6. The Pocket 6 is amazing because they are super fun, lots of colors, and I'm just lowering my light. Um, they have number six nibs, so that has been really cool. And one of, the, one of the things that I really love about them is the number six nib and that they're pretty robust. Now the Altum pen is a full-size fountain pen, although still quite small, but it is a full-size pen. And it uses, I have the converter in it right now, but it uses standard international cartridges as well as converters. And it can be eyedroppered. We'll go into a little more detail in a second. But the really cool thing is the material is Altum, which is polyetheramide. And it's very robust. It can be machined thinner than most acrylic pens he says and it's stronger than acrylic to resist accidental drops or mishaps i know from experience oh gross what's this sorry um i know from experience that <clears throat> the let's just say normal typical pen resin will crack or can crack if you drop it onto a hard surface i've had it happen to me now due to the nature of plastics and the creep phenomenon the cap should be turned till it's snug but not tight because uh, it can cause deformation over time the o-rings are meant to keep the pen sealed so basically it's like finger tight and not you know super tight smallish pen so the capped length is 5.06 inches and uncapped it's really cute 4.85 inches and it's a 13 and a half body diameter a 13 and a half millimeter body diameter and the grip is like 0.4 to 0.44 and it weighs like 14 grams i'm gonna sneeze one second uh... no i think it's a false alarm okay <clears throat> i might cut that out okay carrying on 
so let's carry on the pen very simple design i like it it's got the conical edges taper slightly towards the end of the barrel the ultim is it's like a cloudy yellow i don't know so if you don't like yellow orange type shades of pens it's not going to interest you but in this particular case I'm perfectly happy with it. It's quite light in hand. It's smooth. Um, it does. It's weird because it feels like plastic, but because it's not, like I don't know, it's not super polished, so it has like a tiny bit of texture to it. Very interesting. So the O rings. Let's talk about those. There's the one in the cap. There are two in the nib unit, and then if we open this up, there's one in the section because he has design this so that you can eyedropper the entire barrel. Personally, I'm a huge fan of eyedroppering, so this excites me. There's a lot of threads because if you do eyedropper it, you know, it just gives you that security. Some people don't like threading or a lot of threads. I really don't mind for eyedroppers. I think it's very, very worth it. And it's right at the end of the threading, so it should block the ink from even getting into the threads. And your unit is threaded, so there's like a whole bunch going on here to prevent it from leaking. In hand, crazy comfortable. It's small, but it's not, for me, it's, it's not too small. And if you must, you can post it. It does post comfortably, securely. It barely adds any weight to the back of the pen because it's very light that way um let's see we're looking yep yeah. so it's pretty centered and honestly i use it unposted but it's it's really hard to describe because it feels like i'm it, it feels like i'm it's like an extension of my hand because of the way it fits in my hand and how it feels like it's just sitting in my hand without me holding it just because of the way it's designed and shaped and so I'm really excited about that like it just really works for me now he does say clean it with soap and water alcohol is fine for deep cleaning do not use ammonia so just so you know like pen flush has ammonia so don't get it all over the pen and if you need to do that remove the nib unit to clean it with a pen flush that has ammonia Last but not least, this was a limited run. So right now they're sold out, but there's a wait list and they are 200 US, totally worth it because it's so interesting, it's so different. And it has, like, there's just so much thought into it that really appeals to me. So that's very exciting. So anyway, very exciting. I'm very fortunate that a friend of mine purchased one, so I am borrowing it so I can share it with you. I'm super jealous that he has one. I really like it. And now we're going to write. So this is the... <clears throat> Sorry. Shone Design. Ian Schoen is an absolutely delightful human being. I've met him. I think I've told you this in the other video, but I met him at the Baltimore show in 2020 like right before the pandemic lockdown hit just a delightful human being so he does everything in philly and i love that he is making this stuff like local relatively local to me right on the same continent and i like to support that it's just a, just a nice thing for me so shown design this is the altum and i have a number six broad this takes a jovo nib interesting it is actually not the broadest jovo nib i've used before there's always a bit of variation right so anyway perfectly satisfactory it is a pretty wet writer the ink is i had just gotten this bottle so i just wanted to use it it's the homage to napoleon and because Montblanc is on a, um, like, a blue thing right now, it's blue. Thanks, Montblanc. Uh, I actually really like it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a powder blue a bit. Um, I don't know how to describe that. But anyway, I really like it. 
the nib is very well tuned. Oh man, it's super comfortable. I really like how it fits in my hand. And yeah, so that's fantastic. The nib is good. It keeps up with fast writing. And so the thing here is it's a Jovo nib. So if you've written with Jovo nibs before, you can expect it to function the way a well-tuned Jovo nib functions in that it works quite well. It's reliable. It's enjoyable. And, um, you know, it, it, it does the job very well. But I think that this nib, which is a reliable writer, combined with this nice, comfortable pen, just makes a really great combination. Free weight, fantastic. It's pretty smooth, not the smoothest Jovo I've ever used, but it's not at all scratchy. If you want more feedback or if you want less feedback, you can always have that Nibmeister for you. And uh, let's just do <clears throat> the use. So I really like this because it's small. I can vary my angle pretty easily, which gives me very different writing styles. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I'm writing at a lower angle, I can do this. Seven wildly panting fruit flies. I'm not going to write the whole thing because I want to do, <clears throat> sorry, I want to do the other angles. So a nice simple cursive. We can do also at a low angle, I can do more of like a, I don't know what this would be described as, a, a casual print. There's nothing special about this. This is not a particular script. Um, it's just, this is how I print. And then if we go at a higher angle, it gives me a bit more um, edge, I guess. So I could do edgier things, I suppose, because the intensity of the ink flow changes a little in this direction. I'm assuming because of gravity and because of the weight that my angle is putting on the nib, but it's just fun. It's just interesting to give a little bit of a different writing experience. Um, the other thing I can do is, like I, I can't do it at this angle because the nib actually blocks how I'm writing. So I can do like a funky type thing because I can see where, like what I'm doing without the nib in the way. So I can't do this with all pens. Heavier pens are hard for me to control at higher angles like this for extended periods. But you, you can see that with the comfort of the pen and the versatility for the, of the size for me leads to very fun handwriting and lettering. So I, I really enjoy that. Now, okay. Let's do some other angles. with the pennies of a friend so I can't say anything about that but if I was able to get one because they were limited to um, I think 94 North America and 10 were designated for Japan I would have gotten one I'm still going to get one at some point because I'm on the waiting list and so I look forward to having my own I, I really enjoy this. I don't want to give it back. I might just uh, keep re-inking it for a while and be like, oh, it's not empty yet, and then never give it back. Uh, I mean, I will at some point, but um, yeah. Anyway, 
thank you, Ian, for being a lovely human being and for putting out fun things for us. And thank you all for watching. You know the drill. I hope this made you happy. I hope it made you smile. And I hope you stay safe and inked. And I'll see you next time for the next video. Bye!